Hi guys and welcome back to Farming with Boise. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Let's get farming. to go hedge cutting and the heavens have opened so I think it's about time we did a bit of maintenance on the hedge cutter instead. Jobs are good. It's chucking it down. I've known everybody. So it's still chucking it down with rain. It's too wet to go hedge cutting, so I've come up to the grain store to have a look around and just make sure that there's no leaks. I mean, found one there already. So we will put the bucket under that for now. There might even be two there. So we'll put two. And another one. I'm running out of buckets. I'll have to get another one for that. I'm just coming up to check. We've all our seed that we had cleaned by Anglis um, Grain Services is all in here. Just checking to make sure there's no mice. Nibbling on them. I'm just checking to make sure that the the main gutters in between these two barns are secure and not leaking anywhere. We'll head upstairs and we'll just check over the bins and the other parts of the dryer just to make sure. This is all malting barley in here. It's about 800 tonnes in this store. All looks pretty good. All looks pretty dry. Just waiting for results on that for malting. There's our old cleaner. It's a Westrup. Still makes a great job. Even though it's how old though, it's about 35 years old. We're up here on the catwalk, which is where the bins are. There's 18 bins. Each bin holds 45 ton. Um, we've got the blowers going in these ones through the middle, just to make sure that it cools the oil seed rape down and keeps it cool. Because we've had problems in the past with it being too warm. All well, the roof seems to be okay up here. But I mean, due, due to how poor this harvest was really, all these bins that should be full, I mean, most of them aren't. And equally, ow, just hit my head. Equally, the back store. This store out the back there, you can just about see it in the darkness. That holds about 1,400 tonnes. It's not even half full. So it's, it's quite a hard year really. We didn't get all of our winter cereals in any way. We got most of them in, but not all of them. And we replaced all our winter wheat with spring. Um, so uh, we've got it in another store, but it's still, still disappointing. Yields just weren't there. Um, Lindsay did pretty well, not too bad. Um, this is a bit of crap that just falls off the, 
edge of things, but we got a couple of good bins of linseed off of the acreage that we had. It did, did just under three quarters of a ton, I believe, to the acre. Um, so not too bad. So everything's been sampled now. All of the um, malting barley and the wheat that's due to go for milling has all been sampled. We're just waiting for results on, on whether it makes the grade. And the oil seed rate's been sampled. So that's ready to go. That's going in a, a harvest pool. It'll be going just, just before Christmas. We tried to store and keep everything here as long as possible to hold out for the best prices. I know some people get rid of it in harvest and that's just the way they do it. Everybody's different and different things work for different people. We have quite a bit of storage here for what we need. So I'm, I'm sure some of you that are watching this are thinking, God, look at that old dryer, like, and you've got much better equipment, but this dryer now has been in for 35 years. It's a carrier. And we recently had a local guy, he's a, an electrician and pretty much a wizard with creating programs on PLCs and, and doing things with different gadgets um, to revamp the system that we've got. It's too expensive to buy a new dryer at the moment. Um, so he's, he's gone and he's put in programs to help us now because our resident dryer guy who used to run the dryer every summer has, has since retired. Um, he, he did it, I think, for about 17 years. So we tend to get students in now, so we wanted to make it as easy as possible for them to use the system. So it's all now automated. So you can see on, this, on there, you just switch the switch to where you want it to go. So if you want to dry, empty the dryer or whatever scenario you want to do, click the green button and away it goes. So very, very easy. Um, like I say, the, the dryer went in back years ago. Dad said he put the bins in here when he was 15, 16, and he's now 73. So they've been in there um, quite a long time. I'll take you outside and we can have a quick look at the dryer. There's an old carrier, 22 ton dryer. So there it is, there's the old dryer. Still works remarkably well for its age, um, but it is getting a little bit tired now. It leaks in a few places, as you can see. Um, and the burners, which are all underneath here. Under all them vents are all the burners that run the heat. They, they tend to play up quite a lot at the moment, um, just because of its age. But as I say, it's, it's so expensive. I mean, to, to replace this plant is going to cost a million pounds. So it's, you know, the owner will replace it at some point, but, but just not at the moment. I think there's big plans for the estate over the next few years. So if you stay tuned, there could be some quite exciting times ahead and some good things to see on the journey.